he judges like if he wasn't told nothing about like like if he was almost free. The Beauty Inspector piece deals with med many media. You can see it as a painting, you can see it as an intervention, you can see it as a critical institution uh, piece of art, you can see it as a performance too, but that wouldn't matter that much. The piece is about perception and the piece is about how do we perceive the world, but not just the art world, but the world in general, which is really ambitious. Quizás sería algo interesante ver cómo un proyecto como este funciona en instituciones como el MoMA o el Pompidou o aquí en México en el MUAC o Curimansuto, ¿no? Y, y ver cuáles son las fallas tanto físicas como internas que tienen estos espacios. We are experiencing the, the space by itself, but we are able to, to see all the accidents and all the, the, I don't know, maybe malfunctions of the space. Like, Beifhoff is being like really, really careful on every detail up in the walls and he's making a, a really big a really big drawing. He's taking all the space. He's taking the structure as a, as a platform. He's he's taking the the action of Mark. Uh, he's taking it to another level. It is asking about the construction of beauty and how that construction of beauty has been naturalized, which is the perspective in which everyone sees the whole global world. When I was younger in art school, we had a subject called landscape painting. And our professor used to ask us to go out to do landscapes. And I used to always cheat. I used to always lie. The sky wasn't blue enough. I painted blue. And the building was broken down. I used to fix it. The government hadn't done its job. You know, the zebra crossings. I used to, I used to finish them in my work. And I used to take that image of what I had done to my professor and the professor used to see it and used to say um, it's very beautiful and he used to award me very good marks like 90 or 100. Uh, and I used to always doubt that position the professor took and I used to always ask myself was I drawing a true landscape? Is this the only way landscape painting can be done? Is this the way portraiture can be done? I always wanted to find a new format of expressing the way I see the world. I did not see the world optically. That, that choice of how I want to see the world should be mine. How I want to react to a response in the real world should be mine. I basically removed the canvas. I removed my professor and the position he took. And I took that same position. I started awarding the marks that my professor gave, used to give me in the real world. Quantify new light and in in the truest meaning for me the, everything I knew about landscape painting suddenly updated itself into a new medium and I just felt like I leveled the playing field over the years this project converted itself and transformed itself into the idea of the beauty inspector it captured the imagination of a lot of people and they basically started engaging in meaningful dialogue about what is the meaning of the giving of mark making and of, of why does one get a higher rating and why does one get a lower rating but those conversations led to uh, looking deeper at the landscape itself looking at the errors in society this act of painting is deals with the problems of painting which deal with the problem of the white cube which deal with the problem of latin american art so the conversation of giving marks and who's looking at Mexican art, who's looking at bikini wax, who's looking at painting and who's talking about these subjects is what the show is about. It's about perception. The, what the beauty inspector here, uh, what he does is that he marks like all the mistakes in bikini wax, but he's not marking the mistakes in bikini wax. We think that those marks are part of the logic that we stand for. 
I can also tell that it's beautiful how uh, this inspection of the space is also a, a drawing that is going through through all the planes in the space. It's like invasive somehow, and I I wouldn't notice that. I have so many accidents. I needed someone to to talk about it. It scopes and it makes a close up of that general discourses and problems into a specific space. So once people are confronted to those specific material spaces, they don't feel that criticism or that discourses as something that it's outside them. They start to relate with that problems in a specific lo lo local ways. And I hope, I don't hope, I think that is what will happen with this piece. I think what I'm interested in this project is precisely this performing of, 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 of colonialism by someone that has been colonized. It's not talking only of bikini wax. It's talking about a broader logic of how a space should be built up in order to be beautiful, comfortable, free. What it really mirrors is this um, Eurocentric vision of the world in which spaces must be perfect in order to be, to be considered on, or in order to have value. I think that the beauty inspector in that way uses bikini wax in order to mirror all those, oh, to mirror that enlightenment logic that we still carry and that we don't notice that we carry because we live every day there. With this action, he like takes the role that he's criticizing, the academic way, and he not only assumes that role, but writes and judges and see, see things from that eyes and that's like really really like violent way to do it it can be like seen like if he was only doing an intervention but it goes beyond that I think what what, what, what it will bring uh, to the people that will be here first is like uh, this maniac uh, uh, authority that is trying to judge everything, you know? And like, what I think that some people is going to find is even more mistakes, not just the ones that, that this uh, beauty inspector found.